the Daily Grind. Kicking the morning off with a cloudless blue sunny sky. Later than usual, wake up this morning at 8.10, but managed to leave the house by 8.35. On my way to the gym this morning to train my clients. The usual routine. I created the client program the night before, and as always, I'm printing it out before the workout. Getting the client workout underway at 8.50. After a grueling workout, finished it at about 10. Did a few things in the office before I left at 10.15. It's time for some much needed breakfast. Making myself quite the sandwiches. Some Turkish bread with low fat, high protein cheese, some tomato and some salami. Immediately got stuck into work after finishing that. First of all, I was editing the audio you saw from my previous video. And once that was done, I was placing the final touches on the online coaching section of my website. If you are watching this in the future, the online coaching program and website are now live. And you can also find a 14-day trial via the first link of my video description that's completely free with no strings attached. Having a midday snack to replenish my energy, some chicken and mushroom fettuccine. And back on the grind, this time I'm working on my daily social media post. This is basically the behind the scenes of what it takes to edit a single short form video content. I wrapped up editing for the day at around 2 p.m and had a light lunch. Some homemade fruit salad with some homemade fresh salad. Straight after that, I jumped into quite the long video call. This call was with my close friend who's also helping me with my website editing. It was essentially to make sure that the entire website was spick and span and ready to go live for when it got published. We discussed strategies, content, marketing, SEO, socials, and the list goes on. The call itself ended up going for about 3 hours and we ended it just after 6pm. And my phone at this point is literally about to blow up from overheating. If you guys have ever had a long FaceTime call with your phone on charge at the same time, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But I couldn't waste any time because I had to post the social media post that I edited previously throughout the day across all socials. This is a little preview of what the social posts ended up looking like. At this point, it was time to get focused on the next priority of the day, and that was to train. So here we have a little light pre-workout snack with some chicken tenders and some fruit salad again. Time to select the weapon of choice. You are the chosen one, pina colada. Cue the dove dove music, cue the G up, cue the energy, it's time to bloody train, baby. Left the house at about 7.30 to one destination the gym and we have arrived comrades a quick fit check looking sharp i got the workout underway just after 8 30. today we are training double b's back and biceps starting off on what has grown to become one of my favorite back day exercises the machine t-bar row we performed 4 juicy working sets, the rep ranges were 8 to 15 reps, the top set was 120 kilos for 8 reps, plus a triple drop set. And moving on to exercise 2, we have the machine lap pull down. Same thing, I performed 4 working sets, between the rep ranges of 8 to 15, the top set was the entire stack, 140 kilos which I only managed to rep for 7, but to make up for it, I performed a triple drop set. And here's a quick workout intermission brought to you by Sal Patch Kids. Moving into another compound lift, the bent over Smith Machine Row. By this point, I was pretty damn fatigued. I performed 3 working sets, my top set was 1080 kilos. I mean, it was 80 kilos, glad to see you still with us. And as per tradition, the final set was also a triple drop set. Now for a juicy arm pump that everyone always raves about. I performed only one exercise for arms, however I did 4 working sets. Each set was with the 15 kilo dumbbells. This particular exercise is called a standing dumbbell curl with a supinated twist at the peak. And again comrades, as per tradition, the final set is always a triple drop set which wraps up our workout just before 10. The entire workout itself took about an hour and 20 minutes, which includes warm-ups, the entire workout itself, and cool down. It's time to get out of here and get home so I don't miss my anabolic window. If you didn't already know, that's just a load of crap.
When I got home, I ended up smashing down like half that tub of strawberry yogurt, 300 grams of baby peas, and 70 grams of isolate chocolate protein by EHP Labs. After relaxing, freshening up, and showering, I ended up actually going back to work, this time just finalizing the previous video you saw on my channel, which was the five tips to build your own website in 2023. But uh, I ended up throwing out the whole thing and starting again because I didn't like it and wanted it to be better because, uh, yeah. Another day, another dollar. This time, not as sunny though. For breakfast this morning, we're having an Uncle Toby Opa and a square bread sandwich that consists of salami again and tomato. And it's time for a much needed haircut. This is the before and this is the after. Like last time, like always really, I don't really let the barber cut my beard because there's a particular way I like shaping it. This is also what it looks like after I shape my beard. As you can see, it's quite the difference and I like a clean look. Jumping right into work again, this time I was just finalizing some specific wording and graphics on the online coaching page. There were also just some specific wording and SEO optimization that I had to do across the website. Um, tedious stuff, it's more so like a sunken cost fallacy type thing. It is what it is, at the end of the day we got it done, that's what matters. Now it's time for some lunch. This is a pretty hefty lunch if I'm being honest. It's some chicken and mushroom fettuccine. <laughs> Honestly, I'm never gonna have this meal again. I didn't like it, it sucked, but I just had to get rid of it, so I smashed two. And also had about 400 mils of juice as well. It's necessary to truly represent the title of this video, The Daily Grind, again to show what it takes to edit one short form video. This video gets posted across all socials. It's something I do every single day. Sometimes one singular video, depending on what I decide to edit, takes about two hours. So not ideal. Usually I stray away from those types of videos, but a singular video can take anywhere from 30 minutes, sometimes two and a half hours, it really depends. Now, because I know I'm not gonna have the time to cook for another eight hours, I ended up having another massive meal this time it's some chicken tenders, about 450 grams. Uh, again, a massive meal. This is also gonna act as my pre-workout meal for the day. Now it's time to make my way to a quick class just after 4.30. Ended up wrapping up the workout just before 5.30, but it's time for the most important part of the day. Time to train. And we have arrived, comrades. I'm in such a rush today, I have to be somewhere by 8.30, yet I'm starting the workout at 6.30, so hopefully I can get in a solid workout. Today is a quick shoulder and tricep workout. We are starting off on the machine shoulder press. I performed four working sets between the rep ranges of eight to 15. The top set was 89 kilos for eight reps, plus a double drop set. The second exercise was a standing dumbbell side lateral raise. This is the short lever version. This time I performed three working sets. Each set was with the 12.5 kilogram dumbbells, but I also did a drop set into the six kilo dumbbells for every single set. In total, 20 reps were performed for every set. I don't usually do this next exercise. I set up for a redeltoid pull on the machine low row. I set up my palms in a pronated position with the seat significantly lower than usual. Performing the exercise this way will target my redeltoids and upper posterior. I performed three working sets. My top set was 63.5 kilos for 10 reps. I was in such a rush I couldn't record my final exercise and that was the tricep rope cable pushdown. And that's the exercise you see on screen now. I was only able to perform three working sets. Each set had 15 reps in total. Here are the session stats on screen. I finished the workout just before 7.30 and quickly rushed to get home.
And you were probably wondering why I was in such a rush the whole day. And here is exactly why I had to make my brother's 27th birthday. <laughs>